Now everywhere down here in the Keys is a fantastic dive spot. I've never seen it at night before, so I'm super excited to see what kind of marine life comes out after dark. All right guys, well you can probably tell by the lighting that the sun is getting ready to set and that's because I'm going out on a night dive. Now as you guys remember, about a month ago I did a night dive in Belize. That was only my second night dive ever and it's one of my favorite dives of all time and since I'm back down here in the Keys, the diving capital of the United States, I knew I had to do another night dive. However, since the sun is setting right now, I gotta go load all of my gear onto the dive boat. Traveling with all of my gear is pretty hard but eventually I got it all onto the dive boat and we were off. Today's dive site is a spot called the Benwood Wreck, which I have done many times before during the day. And with it being one of the most biodiverse spots here in the Keys, I was super excited to see it at night. It's only about a 20 minute boat ride from the dive shop. And after hopping into the water, I sank down into the dark abyss. One of the most common fears out there is the open ocean or being over the abyss in the ocean. So if any of you out there with that fear are watching this video, this is probably a worst case scenario. However, However, at this point there was just a tiny bit of sunlight left, so it wasn't pitch black yet, but it would get that way in just a few minutes. The Benwood Wreck is really cool to explore even when you don't take into consideration how biodiverse it is. This wreck sank all the way back in 1942 after colliding with another ship during the night hours, and over time became a diving hotspot, due in large part to the sheer amount of sea turtles that can be found here. Exploring around the outside of the wreck is really cool at night. When you combine wreck and night diving into one, it definitely can feel a little eerie at times. But that's what makes this so unique. Right off the bat, I found this stone crab hanging out inside the wreck. These crabs can grow to massive sizes. And look at that big claw, definitely something you don't want to get pinched by. Unless you're Coyote Peterson, in that case, you probably want to. I then discovered my first sea turtle of the night. This is a pretty good sized green sea turtle trying to catch some Z's inside the wreck. A lot of these sea turtles are sleeping during the night, so unless they're active, I tried not to shine my light on them for too long. But once I found this girl, the sea turtles started popping up everywhere, one right after the other seemingly in every part of the wreck. The Benwood might just be the biggest sea turtle hotspot I've ever been to, which is crazy to say because I've been to my fair share of turtle hotspots in the past. It seemed like every 10 feet or so I was finding another stone crab or green sea turtle in the wreck. They were literally everywhere. But eventually I came across something different. Some parrotfish. These are midnight parrotfish and stoplight parrotfish mixed together. They are some of my favorite fish to see out on the reef. Parrotfish of this size will hunt during the night, but smaller fish like these guys need to stay protected in the dark from predators like eels and sharks. Now just a quick break, today's video is sponsored by Orca Torch. They sent me their brand new dive light, the D710, to test out for you guys. And since I'm going night diving tonight here in the Keys, I thought it would be the perfect opportunity to showcase it. So this light is incredibly powerful, just to show you a little bit of it. There's its highest setting, which is very, very bright. Then you got a medium setting, and you have a low setting, and then that, of course, turns it off. Battery life on this is also supposed to be very, very nice. Speaking of predators, I met my first lionfish of the night. This is an invasive species here in the Atlantic and Caribbean Sea. And on top of that, happened to be highly venomous. So it's always best to stay clear of them while diving. Speaking of venomous, check out this long-spined sea urchin out and about. Although incredibly slowly, this urchin is moving around on the wreck, looking to feed on algae growing alongside it. But this process is incredibly slow and takes the course of the entire night. So it's not really something I can capture in the moment with my camera. One of the reasons I love exploring this wreck is because not much of it is intact anymore. So sifting through all of the broken up pieces feels like searching for underwater treasure. The Benwood was a merchant marine fighter and housed 12 rifles and 36 bombs, that's right 36 at the time of sinking. Obviously that was all removed for the safety of divers, but it's tempting to think that there could still be some lost valuables on this wreck. Remember that lionfish 
lionfish from earlier, well check this guy out right here, an even larger lionfish. This is about as close as I want to get to those venomous spines. Since these fish are predators out here, they are nocturnal hunters, going after really any fish small enough to eat. Despite the fact that they are invasive and venomous, they are incredibly beautiful. But those bright colors and stripes aren't there for no reason. It's what's called aposomatic coloration, which is a sign to other animals and potential predators that this fish is venomous. I finally came across a really active green sea turtle along the wreck. This girl is out grabbing a midnight snack before heading off to find a place to sleep. Sea turtles can hold their breath for as long as five to six hours while sleeping. And she does have to be pretty careful when out and about at night, especially if there's a tiger shark nearby. But after spending an hour on this wreck, it was time to head back up to the boat and towards the dive shop. For my first ever night dive here in the Florida Keys, this was an awesome experience. I can't think of a better spot than the Benwood Wreck for a night dive, because everywhere you look, you're gonna find something cool hanging out. Stay tuned to go behind the scenes with me in the Florida Keys, get up close with copperhead snakes, and see some amazing shark action from my drone.